Black women taking L's, boy. Y'all taking losses left and right. All the way from the sassy truck driver who got in trouble in Dubai for yelling and screaming. Now all she do now is sit inside of a Dubai cell eating turtle fingers, turtle feet sandwiches in Dubai. Mad and hungry. Now we got another woman, um, Carly Russell. Who loves to disappear? She loves to disappear for two days. I bet this woman, she was the champion of hide and seek when she was in high school, boy. Y'all women are lying y'all butts off, man. This is just another 304 who wants nothing but attention. You women want attention so badly that you're willing to go to jail for it, that you're willing to go to prison for it. If you're not popping your little cooter box, if you're not twerking, dropping it like it's hot, dressing immodestly, living the lifestyle of promiscuity, talking about how much you can suck that and how you can ride this on a rap song, now you are resorting to just faking kidnappings and lying about imaginary toddlers on the highway that you try to rescue. Now, let's go ahead and get into this because this is hilarious to me. We, yeah, I can't wait to play this. Y'all are, ooh, you dumb. Let's get it, baby. All right. Let's play, baby. An Alabama woman who says she was abducted while trying to help a toddler on the highway. Please say now there is no evidence to back up her claims. Janae Norman has the latest. Good morning, Janae. Hey, Michael, good morning. The police chief says they still need to hear more from Carly after her disappearance and subsequent return ignited a firestorm of questions surrounding his office's investigation. Multiple local, state, and federal resources were poured into this case, but the question remains, what happened to Carly Russell? The shocking new details this morning laid out by Hoover police and their investigation into Carly Russell's mysterious disappearance and return, including questionable Google searches made before her alleged abduction. The term, you have to pay for an Amber Alert or search. A search for a one-way bus ticket from Birmingham to Nashville, a search for the movie Taken. Authority citing and- Okay, man, that, that tripped me out. See you looking up taken with Liam Nelson in it. She wanted to make sure when she disappeared that they didn't have a guy like that that's going to follow after her talking about, I have a particular set of skills that make me a nightmare to people like you. If you bring back my daughter now, that would be the end of it. Because this woman is a straight liar, man. She worried about C um, with a SEAL Team 6 coming after her. This woman put a lot of thought in lying, man. You women just want nothing but attention, man. You are silly as hell. I am so happy about this. I am elated about this. I hope they put you in prison. I hope you stay there next to whoever next. I hope you stay right now. Go. Immense public pressure for more answers about what may have happened when the 25-year-old disappeared last Thursday, unable to corroborate any of her story. We've been unable to verify most of Carly's initial statement made to investigators, and we have no reason to believe that there is a threat to the public safety. Her disappearance sparked national intrigue after she called 911 to report seeing a toddler walking alone on the side of the interstate. I think it's a boy, a little boy. Right now? Okay. Is he wearing clothes? Yes. Okay. What is he wearing? Um, it's a white t-shirt and it doesn't look like he has any pants on. It looks like a diaper. She started when she got out of her vehicle to check on the child. A man came out of the trees. She claimed that the man then picked her up and she screamed. Police. All right. Now this woman said her imagination made her say she saw a little baby out there in a white tee. The baby just being a baby in this white tee and have a dookie booty baby out there and some pamphlets and stuff. And then she say Tarzan swung out of the trees and stuff. Some Batman came out the trees and you know how, they, how Batman would go from roof to roof. He just swung out the trees and picked her up and she started hollering, help, help, help. I don't want this to happen to me. I'm trying to make a fake abduction. Don't do this to me. And she looking over her shoulder the whole time. The lying thing, man. Say Russell told investigators a man first forced her into multiple vehicles, telling detectives there was also a woman involved who she never saw, only heard. Russell allegedly telling police the couple blindfolded her, made her undress, and possibly took photos of her, but that she did not remember them having any sexual contact. How do you not remember someone giving you that thing? Huh? Can you tell me that, Miss Carly Russell? Now, this woman said, like, she watched, I don't know what movie she was watching. She was watching 007, a spy movie, or some kind of Tyler Perry movie, saying that they kidnapped her and put her through multiple cars. How many kidnappers you know rotate cars, five or six cars like that? Then there's a woman that she hears but never sees. And this, is, this is like, you know what she should have did? 
she should have been a screenwriter for a movie. She need to try to get a job from Steven Spielberg and see if she can make the next Transformers. Cause she got a hell of an imagination, don't she? At some point, she was put back in a vehicle. She claims was able to escape. She told detectives she ran through lots of woods until she came out near her residence. Detectives highlighting possible holes in her account. She traveled approximately 600 yards in her vehicle while she was on the phone with 911 stating that she was following a child. 600 yards, that is six football fields straight. Authority. <laughs> this woman went back into the trees in the woods where the, um, the kidnapper was swinging and caught her, right? <clears throat> so then this woman is gonna try to say she was running through the woods like, uh, uh, I'm like an Avenger, I'm an X-Man, man. I can go all through these woods, man. I'm, I'm a Marine until she got to her house. And she did this for six football fields, nonstop. She's also revealing the nursing student previously researched how to take money from a register without being caught and say Russell returned home with $107 cash in her sock. She didn't really know how to process it, you know? Russell's employer at a local spa telling ABC News he's considering pressing charges if, in fact, the money came from his register. If I thought I had an employee that was capable of doing that, I, they wouldn't be an employee of mine. But um, she got along with the other employees. Everything was seemingly normal. Now authorities urging Carly to come forward with more information. Press charges, my man. $107 in your sock. She is so low down and trifling. She don't do what other ghetto women do and put it in their bra. She put in her musty ass sock. Now, this reminds me of a joke that Kevin Hart used to um, talk about. You know what I mean? That's a joke to him. I'm going to play a little bit of a clip of that and tell me if this joke does not resemble her lying. Check it out. I was on the highway. And the fucking baby was running on the highway. Yeah, I know, right? Shit's crazy. So I get out the car, I start chasing the baby. In my mind, I'm like, why are you running, baby? That, that's what I'm thinking, right? But I'm like, what do you do? Because I can't just grab the baby and throw the baby in the car. That's kidnapping. I fuck now think about what he just said. Doesn't that sound like she was watching Kevin Hart? I think she was watching Kevin Hart and trying to find a way to use Kevin Hart material and make it into a lie. She is Kevin Hart's biggest fan. <laughs> Man, are y'all serious right now? Are y'all really serious? I got another clip to play, y'all, about some more proof about this woman being a big old 304 who loves some attention. Attention for these 304s is like sex is to a man. Let's get it. A strange twist in the already strange mystery surrounding the woman in Alabama who disappeared and then turned up two days later saying she'd been abducted. Police are now talking publicly about what Carly Russell was searching for online before she vanished. Police say they are still investigating. And the reason why they came forward with all this information is they said a lot of people in the community were worried. And then they went into detail just about watching the surveillance video while she was at work and watching Carly take some items away from that job and then also stopping at Target for snacks. Hell yeah, you know you gotta go get some snacks before you get kidnapped. Man, what kind of snacks? She probably had some trail mix, some Slim Jims. Oh, yeah, step into a Slim Jim. She probably had all that stuff, man. You know what I mean? What we can't say is that we've been unable to verify most of Carly's initial statement made to investigators. Think about all the people who hit the streets to try to find her, and mm -hmm. then all the police resources that were used in this. But then you go into that internet search history, and I thought that was so detailed by this police department when it comes to how old does someone have to be for an Amber Alert or the one-way bus ticket or that movie taken so many questions about this one man that woman is obsessed with taking man i know there has got to be other movies she could have looked at to figure out how to lie like a liar her and what's that dude named justice molay or whatever y'all are taking boy y'all are stupid but you women are y'all taking l's left and right and i am happy because all of my videos point out all of your immoral and stupid behavior now i ain't making this video to bash anybody i'm not trying to disrespect any women i'm just pointing out this is for educational purposes and i'm playing these clips out of fair use to, to let y'all know how i feel about this situation and i feel that it is stupid now let me go ahead and play i want you to think about the stress and the hurt and the concern the worry that her mama and daddy went through just because she wanted some damn attention 
What did you do when you saw her? We tried to hug her as best we could, but I had to stand back because she was not in a good state. So we had to stand back and let medical let professionals work with her. Um, but it's okay. Last th what kind of daughter does that to the parents? That's one of the worst fears that a parent can have is that their child turns up missing or something in their child's life. So she, I'm going to tell you something. They said she showed up. You know what I mean? No, she didn't show up. She came home. She didn't just appear. She was on her way back. And she stood. She got to keep faking the punk like, oh, my God, the imaginary boogeyman. He held me hostage and I got to, I don't know, my mind's messed up. Oh, my God. These type of women want to be a victim. When are you going to understand that women want to be the center of attention? They will lie. Now, if this woman can tell this type of lie to the whole nation, to where the world is looking for her, what do you think she can do to a man that she's in a relationship with? What type of lies would she tell that man? She'll tell him a lot like, it's your baby. And it's not his baby. She'll tell him stuff like, I never did this before. When she has actually done that before. She'll tell him things like, I never ate booty. When she has ate some booty. This woman right here is a lying, hypocrite, old man. Last Thursday, police say Carly called 911 to report a toddler walking alone on the interstate. She pulled over while on the phone with a family member who described hearing Carly scream. Her vehicle's unlocked, running. Call her personal belongings and you can check for her phone. On the scene, police found no sign of Carly or a child, and they say no children were reported as missing during that time period. The Russells waited in agony until Saturday night. There were actual, actually just so many calls and texts from people who maliciously lied to us. I just didn't know people could be so evil. Authorities have not indicated. And here it is. The only one that was evil was her daughter. You need to take her to Dubai and let her go with the sassy truck driver, Tierra Allen. And y'all need to sit down and just look at yourselves and reflect on how stupid y'all are. This is stupid. All the panic you caused, you had the neighborhood looking for you and stuff. Here it is. You know, went to Target and bought some food and stuff like that and hid in the woods like a hermit. Indicated where Carly was during the 48 hours she was missing or what happened. Her parents declined to share what their daughter told them, citing the ongoing investigation. And can you tell me what happened Saturday night? Did you just get a knock at the door? Anything leading to, to the case itself, we, we can't discuss that. But they say speculation about the circumstances surrounding Carly's disappearance are only making things worse. She's having to deal with the trauma of people just making completely false allegations about her her family it ain't trauma when it's the truth i feel sorry for the mother because the mother really believes her daughter man i think the father did too that's so terrible her whole family looking for her man and she's still standing by her guns lying man is there's no is there no low to which these modernized women would go now urging the public to let the investigation play out but mentioning an abductor, her mother asking to read a brief message to the public. Um, Carly has given detectives her statement um, so that they can continue to pursue her abductor. Do you believe that there's an abductor still out there? Absolutely. Absolutely. NBC News has reached out to the Hoover Police Department to ask whether they're looking for an individual involved. Police have just said they're following up on all information provided by Carly. And when I talked to you all on Saturday, you also said your daughter is a fighter and she would find a way back to you. Man, she fighting herself. It's easy to win the fight when you're fighting yourself. She's been lying the whole time. She's going to find her way back to you. Ain't no finding. She arrives back to you because she knows where to go when the lie is done with. This woman um, run around smiling, happy, acting like she's happy that she escape the kidnapper she's smiling and lying like the old song used to say smiling faces smiling faces will lie and i got proof i felt that in my heart is that what happened she did she found her way back to us however we can't discuss the details of that but they say one thing is clear 
Do you believe she was fighting for her life? Oh, she definitely fought for her life. There were moments when she physically had to fight for her life, and there were moments when she had to mentally fight for her life. But she made it back to you. She, she made it back. back. Yeah, she did make it back. All right. Pers- I tell you what, she's about to fight for her life. They feel they throw the book at her. She's going to be fighting for real. And she's like, she's fighting mentally. Oh, yeah, she's fighting now. She's stressed out right now. She came home because she got hungry. She ain't the thinnest mug out there. She ain't the slimmest woman out there. She needed some pig feet. She needed some hog malls. She needed some collard greens, some candy yams. She needed some lima beans and some cornbread. That woman couldn't be just hiding out there in the woods and stuff or wherever she was hiding at in a little tent. Because, you know, Target kind of expensive. <laughs> you can't buy all you want to eat there. How are you going to make up an imaginary baby? you just making up stuff like you on. Um, what's the name? Dr. Seuss. It's crazy, man. So let me know what y'all think about this, man, because this is this this is crazy to me. This is so crazy. Anyway, thank y'all, man. Let me know what you think about this in the comments, man. This is absurd, buddy. Hey.